Now for a lesson on weighing. Weighing chemicals for a batch of composition. I'm going to mix up a 500 gram batch of black powder composition in this project just as a demo. Um, weighing is probably one of the most critical processes, skills, um, techniques that we have in fireworking. Almost all formulas, except for a very, very rare exception here and there, are specified in terms of weight. When we see 75%, 15%, 10%, that is by weight, not volume. So you can assume that any formula C is going to be specified by weight and not volume. Before I weigh anything, my sulfur is a pretty fine powder, my charcoal is definitely a fine powder, my potassium nitrate is a little bit clump. It's easier to weigh and it's also easier to begin the screen mixing process in the next step of mixing the composition if I have pre-screened the chemical back to a free-flowing state. Some chemicals such as potassium nitrate can clump a little bit with time just sitting in the tub and so I like if it's a clumpy composition and I'm going to be screen mixing the comp in a minute it's not a bad idea to just simply pre-screen it back to a fine free-flowing state which with almost all chemicals uh, with the rare exception uh, is pretty easily done. Some, some chemicals will clump and do pretty hard clumps and you have to work a bit to get them through the screen back to a fine free-flowing state but it's not very tough to do. That's close enough for this step. Some folks still use triple beam mechanical scales, which were the tried and true go-to scales traditionally until, I don't know, the last 20 years or so with the space projects resulting in digital products. Digital scales are now used by many of us. This is a My Way KD 7000 scale. Uh, one of the more uh, modern, more, one of the more recent versions of this is the KD 8000 scale. Caleb sell, lists and sells the KD 8000 in the supply section of his website, woodiesrocks.com. The 7,000 refers to the number of grams the scale will weigh. 7,000 grams is 15.4 pounds. The KD 8000 will weigh 17.6 pounds of composition. That includes the weight of the tub that's on there, so it'll actually weigh a little bit less composition. The first step in weighing the composition is to tear, is to turn on the scale, which automatically tears the scale to zero with the tub on there. If I remove the tub, it's showing a minus 40 grams. So this tub weighs 40 grams. When the tub is on the scale, though, it tears to zero grams. And so I can weigh my chemical into that tub and I'll know exactly what the chemical weighs. I don't have to subtract the weight of the tub. I have two tubs which are the right size for the size batch of composition I'm going to be weighing. I'm going to be making 500 grams of composition which is about 17 and a half ounces, a little over a pound. I know that these, um, I think this is a 50 ounce tub. I know these 50 ounce tubs will easily hold about a pound of composition, about half full, which is pretty ideal. So I have two, t two tubs that are identical. This one tears the zero with the tub on there. This one tears the zero with the tub on there. I want to have two tubs that are large enough to hold the composition batch that I'm making 
and I want them to weigh identically. That comes in handy in a minute. I have dedicated scoops for each of my chemicals, either in the tub or available here. My first weight that I'm weighing out is 375 grams of potassium nitrate. So I'm going to weigh 375 grams into that. One of the first steps I actually do have to verify is that this is set to the grams scale. The mode button on this scale changes it to kilograms, ounces, pounds and ounces, pounds alone, or grams. I want this set to grams for this formula batch that I have specified here. So the scale is set to the grams mode, and I am weighing out 375 grams of this potassium nitrate. gone over a little bit so I can take a little out until I get to 375 grams which I'm at right there that little over weighing of the chemical is important to recognize as a possibility if I was now to, I could, I could tear the scale again, it's back to zero, and I could weigh my 75 grams of charcoal right on top of this. But if I add too much charcoal, I've got to try to fish charcoal out without getting any of the potassium nitrate with it. It's easy to make a mistake weighing one chemical on top of another chemical on top of another chemical. But if I take that 375 grams of potassium nitrate, put it in my other tub, which weighs the same, put the tub back on the scale, I'm back to zero and an empty tub. Now I've got my hot black powder air float charcoal. I want 75 grams of that. Charcoal is very messy. Very easy to take a somewhat heaping cup of charcoal and in between here and that tub dump the top part of this which will slide off very easily onto the scale. So I sort of tap the charcoal cup a little bit, make sure I'm not going to drop any excess out of there, put it in the tub. A lot of this you learn by doing as you do it. Learn through trial and error some of the tricks that can save you some mess and trouble in the long run. But if I can demonstrate a few of those tricks I've learned over the years for you, maybe I can save you some learning the hard way. And there is 75 grams of the charcoal. And now I want 50 grams of the salt. Teared back to, or not teared back to zero, but it's back to zero because I put the empty tub back on there. 50 grams of sulfur. I'm at 51 grams. 49, 50, back to 51. And there's 50 grams of the sulfur. And I can repeat that, that numerous times. Some compositions have three chemicals in them, and some compositions have ten chemicals in them. So usually somewhere in between those two. Three is about as little as I'm ever going to see, and ten would be a complex composition. Now, I have weighed out each of my chemicals individually, 375, 75, and 50. The advantage to having both of these tubs weigh the same is I can set the empty tub off, put this one on there, and hopefully, if I've done everything correctly, I've not misweighed a chemical, I've not skipped a chemical accidentally in a 10 chemical composition, this should weigh 500 grams or within a gram or so. 499 grams. That's very, very close to 
being right on the money that's close enough for my work so that double checking process I always do that because one every hundred times I will have somehow the scale incorrectly set to at one chemical I will have skipped a chemical in a 10 chemical composition this step will catch a mistake I've made if I weigh the whole composition and it weighs right on the money to what I was shooting for I know I've not made any mistakes so now I'm ready to go to mixing that composition which will be in the next project so that's just a little overview of how I weigh the chemicals for a composition.